Hello, these are Sydney High School graduation requirements for classes 20, 26 and beyond. To be able to earn a high school diploma from Sydney High School, you will have to complete 21 credits, two graduation seals, students must earn two seals, one which must be an Ohio graduation seal, two EOC exams, Algebra 1 score needs to be a 684 or higher, as well as English 10 or ELA 2, 684 or higher, which the state of Ohio deems competency score. And finally, number four is to finish a senior exit survey. The 21 required credits are made up of specific classes and optional and elective classes. You need to have four English, four math, which includes Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, and a fourth math credit at the choice of the student. Three science credits must include physical, biology, and a third science credit that needs to be advanced. Three social studies credits, which needs to include world history, U.S. history, government, and economics. A half credit of health, a half credit of PE, one fine arts credit, in addition with five electives will make up your 21 credits. Again, as previously mentioned, all students will take Algebra 1 and ELA 2. A minimum score of 684 is needed the average score is 700. Other EOC exams are biology, U.S. history, U.S. government, and geometry. A little more in depth on the grad seals. Students must show they're prepared for college or careers. Each graduation seal represents knowledge and skills for future success. All students must earn two grad seals from the list of 12 grad seals. At least one must be an Ohio grad seal. The Ohio grad seals are science seal, which you can earn getting a three on the biology state exam. Citizenship seal, which you can earn by getting a three on the American history and a three on the government end of course exam. The Ohio means jobs readiness seal industry recognized credential seal, biliteracy seal, technology seal, college readiness seal, and an honors diploma seal. Those are all Ohio seals. Local seals from Cindy High School are student engagement, fine and performing arts, and community seal. Again, the Ohio graduation seal is explained. So if you get in the science seal, a score of three or higher on the biology end of course exam, citizenship, score three or higher on the, both the U.S. history and American government exam. You can earn a military seal, which you have to have a piece of paper from the military saying that you are enlisting. The Ohio means jobs readiness seal. You have to meet the requirements established by the state for the seal by demonstrating work ready and professional skills. Typically, this is when kids have a job and their manager can sign off on it. The industry recognized credential seal is usually through our UVCC program. There is the biliteracy seal, but unfortunately, we do not have AP at Sydney High School, so that one would not be for our students to be able to get. The technology seal is score two or higher in the AP test, such as Computer Science A, which is the third course with Mr. Spangler. We do have the college readiness seal scoring on the ACT test, an 18 in English, a 22 in math, and a 22 in reading. And the honors diploma seal and then for our local seals, we have the student engagement seal, which is the student needs to participate in two full seasons of a sport or two full years of a sponsored club organization or a combination of both. The fine and performing arts seal 
earn two credits with a B average in fine arts or performing arts or participate in two or more drama productions as a cast or crew member. Our community seal is eight hours of community service at four different locations. All of this criteria can be found in the main office or speak to one of your school counselors to get more information. Again, your school counselor will keep track of all of this, and it also shows up in your student's power school information. Some other things that we would like the kids to do is get involved. There are many activities and clubs and sports. Lastly, school counselors are Tanya McLean, who helps with students' last names beginning with A through F, O'Shea Peart, helps students' last names beginning with G through O, and Katie Martyr, last names beginning with P through Z. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation.